Hi, it's Paddy and welcome to day 466 of the Daily Do. Don't look outside at who is hurting you. Look inside to why it hurts. How we are feeling says little about them and far more about us. Notice just how touchy you are around matters that matter to you. Yet not a jot of care you've got for things you don't hold dear to. When something stings and anger rises, there is one hugely liberating thing to do. Think not of what they've done, but of why it's stinging you. We guard our soft spots with a vengeance, subconscious snarls and prowling to keep attackers off, lashing out or crumbling when their words or actions prod. But far better is to turn and look at what it is we are defending. It's usually pain that we could release from our never-ending insecurity and fear. Don't think, why are they hurting me? Think, why is it hurting me? A great friend often says to me before I even seek advice, it's you. And this is far more helpful than being told that it's my wife or that the pressure of the children, the music industry or more are at the root of any problems when it's actually my core. Then I can take the painful step to use anger to help me grow, to ask myself in deep honesty, why is this hurting so? And the answer that we can find in this moment of our truth, this is what the problem is, this is what's hurting you. And then the glorious explosion of realising you can change, affect the very thing that's hurting so that it won't hurt again. This is self-awareness, black belt ninja level stuff. The power to look straight at yourself and see the pain is tough, but the reward is liberty and a light and gentle step. Reactions are less prickly as there's less pain to defend. Don't look outside at who is hurting you. Look inside to why it hurts. How we are feeling says little about them and far more about us. It takes strength and courage to look and then accept your tender spots. But you can change the heart that's truly hurting with everything you've got. If you'd like a morning email from The Daily Do, subscribe free at thedailydo.co in the box underneath the audio player. You can email me anytime, paddy at thedailydo.co. I'd love to hear from you. The Daily Do is available on all your favourite podcast places and on social media. Bye for now and see you tomorrow on The Daily Do.